Good day children. Can we all start our class? I hope everyone are interested in watching cartoons, right? And here we have Peppa and family in the amusement park and we can see Peppa and George are happily playing in the park and along we have Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Grandpa Pig. While playing, suddenly Peppa and George were surprised to see two of their friends entering the park. And children, can you all say now how many members are there in the park? Yes, you are right. There are totally seven members in the park. How did you give me the answer? You have added the number of people in the park and gave me the answer. Yes, and today the topic is addition. First, we are going to see about terms of addition. Here we have two set of numbers. We have 23 and 44. When we add 23 and 44, we get 67. The numbers 23 and 44 that we add are always called as add-ends. So children, the number that we add are called as add-ends. And the answer is always called as the sum. So the number that we add are called the add-ends. And the answer is called the sum. Our next topic is rules of addition. Rule 1. When you change the order of the numbers being added, the sum does not change. For example, when you add any two numbers, 3 plus 5 or 5 plus 3, the sum or the answer remains the same. Children, when you add 3 plus 5, we get the answer 8. Or when we add 5 plus 3, your answer will be 8. So according to the rule, when you change the order of the numbers being added, the sum does not change. Rule 2. The sum of any number and 0 is that same number. When you add any number with 0, we get the same number as the answer. So I repeat, the sum of any number and 0 is that the same number. Next, we have learnt about regrouping. What do you mean by regrouping? When you add two numbers and you get a carryover, the regrouping takes place. Here we can see an example for three digit addition. Here, first step, we are adding the numbers in the ones place. Add the ones digits. We have 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. Then, moving on, add the tens digits and regroup if necessary. We are adding 5 plus 8. We get 13. 3 is in tens place and 1 is taken over as the carryover to the hundreds place. Next, add the hundreds digits and regroup. Here, 7 plus 5 is 12, 12 plus 1 is 13. 3 is in hundreds place and 1 is taken over to the thousands place. So, as a whole, we get 756 plus 583 gives you 1339. And these are the steps to be followed while doing 3 digit addition with regrouping. Our next topic is adding bigger numbers. Adding bigger numbers are similarly like adding three digit addition. Here we have an example. We are going to add 2392 with 5106. Here this is the procedure for without regrouping. First according to the step says we have to add the ones. Then add the tens then add the hundreds and so on. Step 1, we are adding the 1s. 6 plus 2 gives you 8. Then moving on to the 10s place, we have 9 plus 0 is 9. Then 3 plus 1 gives you 4. Finally, we have 2 plus 5 is 7. So, 2392 plus 5106 gives you 7498. That's it for today's class children. Let's recap whatever we have learnt in today's class. We have learnt about the terms of addition. The number that we add are called the add-ins. The answer is called the sum. Then we have learnt about the rules of addition. When you change the order of the numbers being added, the sum does not change. Then the sum of any number and zero is that the same number. Finally, we saw adding bigger numbers. 
there are four steps to be followed at the ones at the tens at the hundreds and at the thousands thank you children